seated on the dais along with me, Mr. Frederick Wisling from North Netherlands, Mr. Keith Quant, my colleagues in the ministry, Dr. S. Chandrasekhar, Dr. Rajesh Gokhale, Drew Lieben, the chair of mission, Dr. Sangeeta Kasturi, and O.I. Whistling, whom we just now heard, members of the scientific fraternity, ladies and gentlemen. I stand before you with a sense of pride because we are carrying forward an initiative which incidentally earned its name from none less the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, who proposed the nomenclature of mission innovation. And also because we are in the spirit of what the Prime Minister has been reiterating time and again of a larger synergism, larger integration, trying to now be more inclusive in our initiative and carrying it forward to the domain of public-private alliance, as you refer to it, and we back home popularly refer to it as public-private participation. And I'm sure this is a beginning which will carry us forward from one level to the other. I'm also extremely happy to be present to address the annual gathering of 2022 to review, discuss, and set the mission innovation strategy and work plan, as well as to share insights on the national priorities and to build a network of senior, senior clean energy innovation leaders, as I said, to a process of synergism and larger integration. I therefore owe to congratulate and compliment all the mission innovation participants, the participating countries who have come forward and decided to work together to take on this challenge. and also to engage and involve stakeholders, industry, scientific institutions, research laboratories, and I said, as a part of a larger joint effort. As I was saying a few moments ago, under the military leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, India has mounted a massive, ambitious initiative to promote global actions for clean energy. And he has been reiterating this from virtually every platform. India was also one of the three countries which took the initiative in sowing the seeds of mission innovation, as I said. And these initial efforts have culminated into 20 countries joining together in the year 2015 to launch mission innovation, a term, as I said, was coined by none less than Prime Minister Modi. And all the mission innovation countries bring together significant research process and resources in this global universal endeavor. And therefore, on the outside, I must emphasize that this government accords highest importance and priority to science and technology and is committed to address the challenges facing the country through tools and techniques that the modern science and technology offers. However, you would agree with me that the real test of the scientific pursuit is judged by the impact it makes on the lives of the common people. And as Prime Minister Modi keeps saying, what difference it makes to the life of a common citizen or how much of ease of living does it bring to the life of a common citizen. And therefore, under his leadership, India is committed to transform the energy landscape of the country with significant clean energy share. Our ambitious plan of setting up 175 gigawatt renewable power capacity was more than the cumulative capacity set up till 2015. And this has been because of the special impetus given by Prime Minister Modi. Our renewable energy capacity has leaped forward to around 60 gigawatt today. And by 2030, non-fossil energy sources will make up for 40% of the installed capacity. You would also recall that during the COP26, Prime Minister Modi had announced India's commitments towards renewable energy targets of 500 gigawatt by 2030. And therefore, living up to that spirit and living up to that resolve and commitment, India through mission innovation is actively engaged in collaborative 
efforts to catalyze, to inspire innovative goals by leading in scale up of affordable clean energy actions. Greenhouse gas, ladies and gentlemen, and its emissions from the transport and chemical sectors account for about one third of the global emission. I need not remind this uh, learned audience. But it is projected to increase. And therefore, India, through the Department of Biotechnology, headed by the gentleman colleague seated beside me, Rajesh Gokhale, has been promptly supporting the R&D activity in sustainable aviation biofuels. And to catalyze the collaboration through stronger international innovation networks, I am privileged to announce national funding opportunity on sustainable aviation fuels to support and conduct research and development activity. To foster technological innovations in advanced biofuels for aviation applications. And I'm also happy to launch the Department of Science Technology Supported, which is headed by the colleague on my left side, Dr. S. Chandra Sekhar. The Integrated Material Acceleration Platform, as you noticed just now, the Integrated Material Acceleration Platform, ICMAP, which is a global initiative to accelerate the urgent transition to allow carbon economy by focusing on R&D and D. And in key technology areas, this MAP integrates automatic robotic machinery with rapid characterization and artificial intelligence to accelerate the pace of discovery up to 10 times faster. DST's vision to create a network of MAP assets to address regional needs for clean energy materials. on-site generation and utilization by utilizing the renewable resources effectively, the water access areas with geographical identity. The hydrogen valley objectives will be achieved through cohorts of clean hydrogen valleys to combine complete hydrogen value chain, production, storage, and also the transportation with the aim of reaching critical scale and unlocking the learning curve effects. At COP26 side event, India had reiterated its commitment towards a low carbon future through holistic approach and through capitalization and announcement of mission integrated bio refineries jointly with Netherlands. And I'm happy that we are trying to live up to that commitment. And consistent with the takeaways of the COP26 meet and now with the broader engagement of the global missionary innovation, India and Netherlands aim to leverage this extensive experience in research and development and innovation in the startup sport with which I am very pleased. and results-oriented partnership of countries, the international organizations, the corporate sector, the academic institution, the civil society, all joining together, coming together to accelerate innovation for renewable fuels, chemicals and materials. As I said, a larger format of public-private alliance. And I'm sure that the intense scientific discussions, the technical meetings that have happened before this and also at the, on the occasion of the MI annual gathering would have identified and prioritized the research needs that would have firmed up on the action plan in the way forward. I hope our collective endeavors would certainly realize the vision of an affordable and unreliable future, which is a common stake for all of us across the world. And I wish success to the team implementing the innovation challenges and hope that collectively 
we would be able to develop technological solutions to make world a cleaner place and a better place to live. I can assure you that by teaming together, we are making a significant difference in preserving our planet's livability. I wish all the members of Mission X Innovation success and hope that we achieve collectively what we have set out to achieve. And as I said in my opening remarks, this is just the beginning. We'll move forward from here from one level to the other. And I'm sure the rest of the world will also come around to us to join us in this noble global endeavor. Thank you.